Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. In here we'll be looking at the introductory to quantum mechanics and how quantum mechanics is highly crucial in various development of chemistry concepts that were actually introduced by various interested scientists over the past few years. Now the development of this particular concept was started off with by the idea of the wave particle Durality. And this wave particle durality actually depends on how we observe light and matter exhibiting either particle like property or a wave like property. And this was actually first brought up by the idea of relating the photon of a particular light with that of its particle property, which was actually done by a very known scientist by the name of Einstein. And now what did Einstein do? Einstein was able to generate a nice photon energy when you introduce it into a particular metal sheet, then you're able to kick out electron and this shows that packets of photon has its own wavelength that is highly important in the exciting of electrons. Now, interesting enough, he developed this particular concept with the help of Planck as well, but in here he chose this, introduced this particular formula, which is the energy over here, which is actually generated from the product of the Planck constant and that of the frequency. Now, this frequency can be broken down into two other properties, which is the idea of the speed of light divided by the wavelength and if you multiply the product over here, the result over here by the Planck's constant, you get the energy over there. Now the other relationship is actually photon behaving as a wave and this was highly done by a very nice scientist which is called De Broglie and what did De Broglie do? He was able to actually relate the wavelength with that of the momentum of a particular particle in motion. Now this is formula was actually represented as the wavelength uh, is actually obtained from the plus constant divided by the mass of that particular particle multiplied by its velocity. Now if you multiply the mass by the velocity of the particle you will get your momentum of the particle and once you have your Planck constant divided by the momentum of the particle then you're able to get your wavelength of that particle. Interesting enough if you have big particles it's hard for you to get this particular wavelength however if you get small particles you can you are able to approach a much more visible wavelength over there. Now the last part of this concept that introduces the idea of quantum mechanics is the idea of the Heisenberg principle. And Heisenberg principle introduces the uncertainty between two properties whereby we have one property where it's highly effective to get one however the other property is quite difficult to actually get that property. Now this particular concept shows us that not possible that it is not possible to simultaneously determine exact position which is represented as change in x and the velocity which is represented as change in v of a particle at the same time. Now I can write the velocity to be also pretty much similar to that of the product of the mass and the velocity and the mass and velocity is actually equal to the change in the momentum over there. This shows that the more I'm able to find the position of a particle, the less I'm able to determine the momentum of this particular molecule over there. Now, there is a great certainty measured for position of a particle in this particular concept over here, but there's a less certainty of momentum of a particle, which is that over there. Now, this very act of observing particles to measure its position will actually lead to a change in momentum, thereby this reveals the probability 
of quantum mechanics as the probability theory and this introduces this particle probability theory and how this is expressed as this particle formula which we have over here the rate of change of moment or the change in the position with respect to the change of product must be greater than or equal to the product of the particular constant over here divided by 2 where this particular constant is equivalent to the Planck's constant over here divided by 2 pi so that's about it for the development of quantum mechanics and how these two relative concepts were highly crucial for we to be able to see how we can position electrons in a particular atom over there all the same guys thanks for following me through this i truly appreciate it don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe if you understand this and watch out for more videos related to quantum and how it relates to both chemistry and physics and also in at the atomic world have a good day peace love you all and see you on my next video bye